Hi, I'm Alexa and you're watching Cassette Media. Hi, I'm Alexa and you're watching Cassette Media. I'm here with The Shallows. Hi, I'm Adam. I play guitar and lead vocals. Hi, I'm Craig. I play guitar effects and backup vocals. Hi, I'm Hayley. I play violin and do backup vocals. Okay, so um, what genre would you consider your music and what are your influences? Um, it's kind of hard to define genre. It's a, it's a mishmash. It's a symphonic pop. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We have a lot of members who come from different musical backgrounds. So it's, How many members do you have? Twelve at the moment. Wow. It kind of shrinks and increases. How do you fit 12 people on stage? It's very <laughs> difficult. Uh, some people don't even get to be on stage. I don't know if you've noticed that. Have you been to a show? <laughs> yeah, they're like hiding behind a curtain, so... <laughs> it does happen. Mm. Oh, it's wow. Then it's, that's unique. Like, I've not seen that before. But is it, would, would you consider that one of the biggest challenges that you have? Yes. To play live? like To play live and to get 12 people to be at the same place at the same time. Yeah, that and like the sound, like sound at live venues, is, it's really hard to sort of mix. Do you find it affects like, obviously it would kind of affect the initial sound when you're performing to have certain instruments not there. How do you deal with that? Um, you do this a lot to the sound yeah. band, I guess. But what you hear on stage is not what you're going to be hearing out, out the front anyway, yeah. so you don't, unless, you know. Mm. Sometimes you have, like, it you is. feel like it sounded great on stage and it sounded horrible out front and then sometimes it's the other way around, like, you just kind of hope that it works out. I think, um, performance is kind of dictated, because we're so cramped on stage, we can't really move around and jump around a lot as well, so we, you can, you limited movement to what you can do. Uh, that's sort of good for me, because I'm a bit awkward and gangly, like, <laughs> you know, so I can't, like, if I could dance, I could, I would. Uh, what instruments do you have? Because you've got obviously quite a number, count them for me, what are they? Three guitars, brass, like trombone, um, a violin. Cello. We've got two violins. Do we? Yeah, yes. two violins, cello. We had a, a harp. Harp. Wow. Uh, Drums, bass. What else? Yeah, and, and let oh, me six. just clarify, it wasn't the blues harp. We mean like a... Yeah, like a 46 string. Angelic harp. <laughs> yes. like. Like, what can we see next from you guys? Well, at the moment, we're just trying to get the name out there. Get people to remember who we are. Um, trying to get on some festivals, play bigger shows. I mean, that's what every band's trying to do, I guess. We need bigger stages. Well, yeah, <laughs> well that's the main reason why it would be really nice to play some festivals, to ha have a stage that can actually facilitate us. question now. You're on a desert island. You can take one CD and two other items. What are they and why? And two other items. Um, take a CD player. <laughs> <laughs> so I can listen to that. A good move. Yeah, that's good thinking, that one. Yeah. <laughs> My inhaler, because I got asthma. <laughs> <laughs> you got one uh, more. And the, C the actual CD. The CD. I think. What well, CD though? You have to say the CD. Oh. That you have to listen to for eternity. I'll take Paul Simon, Graceland. That's a choice, <laughs> one of my first things I listened to. <laughs> um, I'd say Alex Smith, Exo. And another thing. I have to have with me for eternity <laughs> on the desert <laughs> island. Um, and maybe a cone. An Afro cone. An Afro cone. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think I'd have to take a Katie Noonan album with me. Yeah? Let her angelic voice, like, mm. roll me into insanity. <laughs> um, and I'd probably take a guitar so I could learn how to play one. <laughs> I don't have the time to dedicate all the patience, so I have to work out well. Have you ever been mistaken for Hayley Williams? How yeah, one I get it a lot, especially when I go through, like, um, JB Hi-Fi, and I pay a credit card, and they like, <laughs> see that my name's Hayley, they just, like, look up at me. 
especially when they're in town, I've actually had someone ask me for an autograph. As you know, it's almost festival season, or it is festival season. What are your essential items for surviving a festival? A hat. <laughs> God, this sounds smart. <laughs> Again, no hat, no play. If you've got an afro, it's quite like a hat. You can just brush it out. Like a hat. <laughs> <laughs> an afro kind of works in so many ways, it really does. <laughs> Keeps you cool. A camera, I reckon you need a camera. A camera? A camera yeah. is good. And if you've got that Polaroid app on your iPhone, <laughs> then you look vintage. <laughs> Or pets or muscles, right? Like. Yeah. Walk around shirtless, yeah, yeah get all the ladies. Um, <laughs> I'm going to take a shirt that you don't mind losing. And you yeah. Get yeah. Those like visors, like. Girls need cut off jeans <laughs> and um, girls need toes and singlet. I think cut off jeans and muffin tops are a must for the ladies. <laughs> <laughs> muffin tops. <laughs> That's sexy stuff, man. Wow. Your celebrity crush. Uh, Natalie, Natalie Portman. Portman. Oh, Natalie She's Portman. beautiful, isn't yeah, she? Those she cheekbones is. to die for. <laughs> No, she's pretty hot. She could pull off like short hair. Mm. That's a skill. Princess Leia was pretty hot when <laughs> Star Wars first came out. How old, how old are you for that? Like five? Winnie Cooper. From, like, what was that show? It was like, it's like Winnie Cooper. Oh, oh, I, I don't even know who that is. That show, Fred Savage was in this show. Oh, right. Okay, Wonder Years. Show called Wonder Years. Yeah, there's probably lots. I think I'd have to say Freddie Mercury. I mean, oh. The AIDS, the homosexuality, and the death. Kind of a bit of a shame, but there are some that aside, right? yeah, and an amazing musician. Oh, <laughs> wicked mo. I mean, how happy, how happy does he make you? Mm. <laughs> Pretty happy. Yeah. He likes other men. I do realise that. <laughs> is that a trick know? question? Like, are you asking like Craig and I? Is it, you know? Would you go there? <laughs> <laughs> Basically, yeah, that's what you're asking. Yeah. But only in fun. <laughs> All right, well, guys, I think that's a wrap. Thanks for having us. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs>